Hello my friends, this is Moogle Master 102 and welcome back to Tales of Zillia. Today we're in Olympias. Well, well, we have no choice but to be here. We're kind of stuck and yeah. Anyways, um while we go ahead and travel around the city, I actually have a skit here. This Let's listen to that. Light without channeling spirits. Hmm. Perhaps that cable of course, we'll just let them have their conversation here. How could they have possibly built a city this size without using spirit arts? It's just just continue letting them have their it's conversation. A world, but the people are just like us. And just to be that way. Yeah, well we'll just let them so talk. The that Maxwell cut off and left to die. And yet, I can't help but want to save it. But anyway, let's listen to the skit. I can't stand to hear Balin prattle on like that. Really? I find him quite interesting. He's been that way since he was a kid. That's how I knew it was him right away. He's strange, but he's really nice. I know. Unlike me. Nobody's saying that. But watch yourself around him. He has quite a mean streak. Do something embarrassing and he won't ever forget it. He'll torment you with it till your dying day. Like what? If he told you half the dirt he had on me, I'd never be able to show my face around you again. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes my skin crawl. <laughs> you guys seem really close. Well, I guess we were friends before he got all cynical. Oh. What's that? You jealous? Absolutely not. You don't know what you're talking about. Everyone here seems to be just like Well, us. anyway, so we got an event here. We can talk to the old man. So let's go. Five gold. Yeah. That five gold really is going to make a difference. Anyway, let's go talk to this guy. After working as a chef for over 60 years, I finally retired and left my restaurant to my son. But it's been a month now. I still can't find myself thinking about food all the time. Lately, I've been hearing exciting rumors about a new dish called Croquette Parfait. I'd love to try it, but I can't find one anywhere. Could you look for one for me? Sure thing. Alrighty, dude. I'll go find that for you. For now, though, let's go ahead and uh, travel around Olympias. Let's see what there is for us. So, let's kick around. Quite a calm and collective episode. This city sure is strange. Yeah, I feel like there's something missing. There's no nature. Indeed, I haven't spied a single blade of grass, let alone a tree. Is it because they're using Spyrix? More likely because there aren't any spirits. Exactly. As the spirits became scarce, all signs of nature withered with them. Olympias is in its death throes. So this world needs spirits. What was that? Alvin, what does that poster say? Support the Otherworld Reactor Plan. They were probably put out by a union of Spyrex using merchants. It sounds like they're really dependent on Spyrex. You look like a deep-pocketed lot. Help us pull the plug on the reactor plan. Tell me, old-timer. Why do you need donations to stop the plan? Filing official protests with the government isn't free, you know. Phew! Did you take a bath in booze today? What's the deal with this doll? Count me in. I want to stop the other world's reactor plan. Jude, wait. <laughs> Thank you, lad. Thank you. I wonder how Gaius intends to stop the plan. With Muse's power at his disposal, they could show up on this side at any moment. That's true. No point in moping around on an empty stomach. Balin should have that food ready by now. Yeah, he's right, you know. We should probably go and, uh, go see Balin. But for now, we have a skit here, so let's listen to that. Hey, listen, Mila. Mila. Oh, sorry. It's fine. Go ahead. No, after you. Mine can wait. Why is everyone behaving so strangely? A lot happened after you went away. It helped us grow up a bit. 
but growing up certainly doesn't solve everything. I bet Alvin feels the same way. I see. You humans mature so quickly. Then again, what adult with an ounce of common sense would hunt down Maxwell and pick a fight with him? Well, the lack of common sense part. That's probably your influence, Mila. <laughs> How dare you? Alrighty, anyway. Ugh, another damn skit, Jesus. Did Jude and Leia have a fight with Alvin? Why do you ask? Intuition. Your intuition is on the mark as ever. I only heard about it after the fact, though. Alvin tried to kill Jude, and he even shot Leia! It didn't seem to be one of his typical betrayals. It was his actions that led to your apparent death. That must have been quite a shock to him. That was probably true for Ivor, too. They fought with Ivor, too? We all did! He ran like a frightened bunny! We finished off Pressa and Agria, too! Though that, too, was a painful conclusion for Alvin and Leia. I see. Now I understand why everyone's changed so much. Yep, that'd be true. Uh, there's a thing we can grab over here. But yeah, so... Um... In Jude's side of the story, you actually have different uh, things, obviously. So you actually have to fight Bressa and Agria and Ivor. So yeah. Anyway, hold on a second. From the nature to the culture, everything on Olympia seems so different. This is your homeland, right, Alvin? Yep. The source of the Spyrix you hate so much. You don't sound too happy about it. Didn't you want to return here more than anything? Well, I thought I did. I wonder why I wanted to return to this doomed world. It is true that its spirits have withered and its plants and animals are disappearing. But Olympias isn't over yet. The people here brought this upon themselves by using Spyrix. You aren't even the real Maxwell. Do you really intend to save humans like that? Yes, this is a human problem. And as you know, I'm quite fond of humans. Whether I'm Maxwell or not is beside the point. <laughs> I see. Glad to hear it. Well, anyway, let's gonna... <clears throat> can't talk. Let's go ahead and uh, upgrade our weapons here. Uh, go ahead and donate all our materials. We don't really, uh, I'm not worried about armor at all. Alright. See what we got here. Uh, okay. <laughs> Looks like upgrading didn't really do much, did it? Alrighty. Uh, not all that worried then. We'll just go do our thing and go see Balin. Well, we couldn't really buy anything, unfortunately. All our weapons are apparently better than the ones... Uh, or all the weapons we have are apparently better than the ones that are in the store. Um, we have a lot of money, too. Damn. Could have used that. Well, I went the wrong way. Balin's apartment's over here. Alrighty. Let's go over there. Heading out? I'm off to Helioborg. I hear the results of some new Spyrex research just came in. Oh, right. You did say you were an engineer. Well, hey, Balin, buddy. Where's our chow? I put together a real nice spread back in my apartment. Feel free to dig in. Thank you so much. If you don't mind me asking, where exactly did you find us? Hmm? Out past Helioborg, where I'm heading now. You were sprawled at the foot of the hill on the other side of the complex. Thank you. No problem. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Well, looks like we'll have to go to Helioborg in a little bit. But for now, let's go ahead and get some foods for... Uh, our nourishment is much more important. Wait, the elevator's right here. What am I doing? All right, up to the third floor. <clears throat> and uh, Balin's apartment's right here. Wait a minute. No, this is someone else's place. All right, hold on. Uh, 
Is it? Is it in a different? Is it on floor two? I think it is actually. Yeah, it is. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, second floor. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. We got this guy over here. We already talked to. Whoops. It's right here. So, what's everyone's plans from here on out? If we head to that spot Balin mentioned, we might be able to get back to Rize Maxia. Oh, I see. That's why you asked. Although, I'm not planning to leave until I find a way to help both Rize Maxia and Olympias. Is there any way we can help? Of course. I doubt I could figure things out alone. Just having you here would be a huge morale boost. We mustn't underestimate the circumstance, though. We must contend with Spyrix devices, the Otherworld Reactor Plan, and even Gaius. That's why you want us all to decide for ourselves. Try to head back home or figure things out here, huh? Wow, that's tough. Hmm. I realized something once we landed on this side. We can't eliminate Spyrix from Olympias, but we still need to get rid of the schism. It's a real conundrum. I want to figure out what I can do about this. Well, you know I won't agree to anything that hurts my own people. But we need to find something to help the spirits as well. I have something to say. If we can't eliminate Spyrex, then I will take the extra effort to watch over and protect the birth of new spirits, so their numbers stay intact. But that means... Spirits are another part of nature's cycle, just like humans. I will find a way to support them both. You sure about this? I've thought long and hard about this. Jude, if you're convinced that we can't get rid of Spyrex, then I won't argue. But we can't waste time debating this. We need to head to Heliobor. She's got a point. Any place working on Spyrex research is probably involved in the Otherworld Reactor Plan. Can I get answers from everybody by the time we get there? Okay. Mm. Is my role to offer support, or is it a lead? Alrighty, anyway. Now then. Let's go to Heliaborg. As it tells us to go to the Hel Heliborg Fortress. I think this is the only thing... Actually, no, there's probably a few things that you have to do here in Olympias, but... This place is, like, you don't really, like, sit here all that long, to be honest. Like, you're only here for maybe, like, one or two instances, and then pretty much, like, it's... The game is done. I mean, you don't really do much here. I know in, in the sequel, though, you spend a lot of time in Olympias. That's basically where the game is based in. So, yeah. What's happening? Helioborg is under attack! What? You should turn around and leave. It's not safe here. I just don't understand why anyone would attack the Spyrix Research Center. Who's behind the attack? We have no idea. The attackers were using Calculatrix without Spyrixes. How is that even possible? What's that? Spirit Arts produced using Spyrixes. If the attackers didn't need them, I think we know who they are. Sounds like Gaius is already making his move. Let's go. I want to make sure Balin is safe. And we're back. Uh, oh god damn it. Another skit? Like, this game is so skit heavy, it's insane. Anyway, let's go and listen to this. It must be shocking for the Olympians to see us using arts without Spyrex. Not so much shocking as terrifying. To us, it's as if you have supernatural powers. But in a lot of ways, it's Spyrex technology that's more powerful. People fear what they cannot understand. That's why we're so quick to discriminate against other races and cultures. Alvin, were you scared when you first came to Rizamaxia? 
I was. The people seem like monsters to me. And how do you feel now? Now? Uh, you know, some are good, some aren't. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> it sounds like young men from Olympias start out quite naive. <laughs> and old men are condescending no matter which world they come from. Alright, and we got another skit here. So how far is Olympias from Risa Maxia? Uh, it really isn't about distance. They're, like, separated by an impassable wall. Oh, I know! Rize Maxia and Olympias are about as far apart from each other as men and women are. An impassable wall? Does that mean we can never go home? I won't be able to see Drisel again? That's horrible! No, no, it'll be okay. After all, we're all together. You have Mila, Jude, Rowan, and even Alvin. You know they'll figure something out. That's true. You're here too, Leia! Yeah, but it's not like I'll be any help. That isn't true. When you're here, everyone's happier. Let's all go back to Rize Maxia together! Okay, it's a promise. Alright. <clears throat> now, let's actually go to Heliobord. You know, after spending, I don't know, 20 minutes with skits and shit. Oh wow, I wasn't kidding. It's almost 16, uh, 43, 44, 45, yeah. So it's almost 16, f yeah, you're at 1650 right now. Holy shit, we spent 20 minutes just dicking around. We haven't even gotten to our next destination yet. That's, that's pretty ridiculous. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue. Um, see, this is what happens when I record a video. Either a dog's fucking scream, like, barking constantly because I'm a window open, or people are just really, really fucking loud. Oh, well, what can you do? Hey, I got a monocle. That's perfect for a certain someone, which I'll, uh, have to equip on later. For now, though. God damn it, another skit, really? <sighs> Is this another one of Ifrid's arcs? What's it doing on Olympias? There are words appearing on it. My name is Ifrid. I'm an explorer seeking a foreign world known as Riza Maxia. When I depart for it, I will gather the treasures I've collected in my adventures on Olympias and place them in arcs near my hometown as a gift to the next generation of adventurers. Huh. So Ifrid was an Olympian. He must have found some way to cross the schism to Riza Maxia. And then he never made it back to Olympias. Huh. <laughs> never figured there'd be someone else besides you guys crazy enough to go running off to other worlds. <laughs> well, let's pay our respects to our predecessor and help ourselves to his loot. Alright. Oh, I, well, there was an enemy right there anyway, so I can't blame that. But anyway, uh... I probably should not be on Twitter while recording, because that's absolutely stupid and ridiculous, and I think being the person I am, trying to look on Twitter while, uh... Letting you guys view the skits. Not exactly the best idea. So I'm trying to get completely distracted in uh, conversation while I'm trying to record a video. Just, just don't want to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and close my uh, tweet deck and actually continue recording because it'd be ridiculous if we uh, continue, you know, else with our conversations and nonsense and stuff. Of course, I'm just gonna take out this monster. And, uh, oh shit, accidentally used the wrong, nope, nope, stupid game, there we go, die, and there we go, oh, well you just wasted your big dual attack, holy crap, look at that experience though, that's just my charm. I'll have to keep that in mind, actually. Um, I'll have to keep tabs on that. I'm also going to do some off-screen grinding, if that's the case. Good thing fast travel exists. So. Yeah. Damn, I didn't think that it was going to get that much. That's actually good for us. Alright. So, yeah. <laughs> 
I didn't even think I was going to get that much experience. But then again, we're in Olympias, so it's a, it's a big open area. It's a, it's a different world, so you go to expect that. Man, Reason Maxia and has nothing against Olympias of experience, apparently. Oh! God damn it, these birds. What assholes. Oh, oh, oh! You watch yourself. And more gold. That's actually a uh, what you want to call it? Uh, legendary monster that we can go and fight. Actually, would it be smart? I could quick save. Yeah, we can do that. I don't know why we wouldn't, but first we actually have some. Uh... All right, hold on a second. <laughs> well, let me let me go ahead and rearrange my. Uh... I, I haven't upgraded anybody's Lily Morbs in a while. What the hell is wrong with me? Alright, hold on. Alright. Just give me a second here. I, I don't care where this goes, to be honest. I just want to get it out of the way. Alright. Now then, let's go ahead and use an item. Or not an item, on. Uh, Oh, I have these already. Well, pfft. Jeez. Alright. I'll use this. Oh, wait. Let's not forget to quick save. Well, at least we're doing something productive with this. Yes, please. I will cut this out. Alright. And, let's go. So, Veywind Eye, is that what it's called? Yeah, Veywind Eye. Veywind Eye is kind of an asshole. He hurts, he hits very, very hard. So you want to be extremely careful with this boss. Um, I can use Undine to smack it. Smack it a few times. Oh god, please. Stop with your damn, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I almost died. Oh, Jesus. Stop with this nonsense. Okay. What? Okay, we'll do the Mystic Art here. I wouldn't really combo into it, because no matter what, he's just going to break my combo. Alright. Perfect! Yeah, try not to get completely annihilated by this guy. He's going to start hurting like a monster. Wait, he is a monster. What am I saying? Alright. Uh, no... You know what? Now would be a good time to switch out for... Whoops. I did not mean to do that. I meant to bring in Rowan. I was going to say, now would be a good time to bring in Rowan, because... Why the hell not? Yeah, but this is this is one of them... What you want to call it? It's a legendary monster, but packs quite a punch. You can, we can, It's possible to beat him. Uh, just as long as we don't get freaking stunned like that. He likes to do that a lot, which is kind of annoying. Uh, he doesn't have a weakness, unfortunately. Oh, well. And Alvin, I will switch you out with you. Yeah, just leave for now. For it's probably the best thing right now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's go in there. Alright. Alright. Oh, shit. All right, let's get back a little bit. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and use... Uh, use this. There we go. Now we all have TP somewhat. And uh, 
Whoops, did not mean to do that. Oh, are you Oh, you don't even have it. Never mind. I was gonna say, you don't have your Mystic Heart. Because it would have been cool to see. You're just... My lord. You're supposed to not die to everything. What the hell? And stop using items, for Pete's sake. Okay, everybody's fine. Alright. Uh... Go ahead and use this. Alrighty, here we go. Perfect. And Rowan died again. Jesus, Rowan. Yeah, try not to get hit by that. Alright. Rowan, Rowan, Rowan. What will I do without you, buddy? Alrighty. The best thing to go about this fight is to not do, not do what I did. Fighting fighting him a little bit on your level is not the best thing to go about it. I can tell you that. Ah, come on. Aw, oh, man. Don't get hit. Idiot. Alright. I will use this. Just to be... What the hell? How did he hit me? Alright. I'm using Dean here. He has a lot of reach. <laughs> so you want to be careful. Yeah, just attack him with all your shit. It's probably the best way to deal with him. Because going near him is kind of annoying. Oh. No, stun! Hit stun! Please stop with that. Ah, no! No, not this crap again! That's what happens when you let him friggin' bully you. No, don't go! Okay, that's fine. I was gonna say, don't go near him. Alright. Try this again. He's almost dead, so I can't really give up on him. We're gonna get a lot of experience from this fight, I can tell you that. Because these guys give a lot of experience. Although I'm kind of cheating the fight with just using my items up. I don't really mind. We have a lot of money anyway. And besides, I'm gonna be doing some off-screen grinding after this fight. Yeah, he's almost dead. Ah, come on! Oh no! That's not good. Oh no. And Rowan is para. Uh, he's been ah, petrified. God damn! Why didn't I? I don't even know. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and unpetrify you, and then just keep using all our items. I just wanted to get your HP up. Don't let him hit you. Seriously. You let him hit you? Well, what am I? What am I gonna do now? I can't fight him. You know, I, I really wish you guys didn't die here. Oh, <laughs> I beat him! Yeah, we clutched it. Mila's the only one that levels up. Well, Mila and Leia. Great going, guys. Could have done it without you. Alrighty. I'll try to be more careful. I clutched it. Alrighty. Let's go back to Olympias. I will go ahead and end this episode off. Well, uh, go back to Olympias. I mean, go back to Triglef. We're in Olympias. What am I saying? Anyway, I'll see you guys next time for another episode, Tales of Zillia, where we will go ahead and continue on to the Heliobarg Fortress. Peace out.